consider the following table, which contains values that are found on the graph of a function. Which of the following options provides accurate information in regard to the aforementioned function? A. Y equals 4X minus 2. So is this the equation that represents the function in the table? B. The function is definitely not a linear function. C. X equals Y minus X plus 2. Again, is that equation representative of the numbers in the graph, or in the table, excuse me? And D. This graph represents the values in the table. So there's a lot of different ways we could solve this problem. One way, since we have two equations that we need to refute, we could take a coordinate point, any coordinate point in the table, and plug it into these equations to see uh, if they are true. So we could plug in 0 for x and see if we end up getting 4, because y equals 4. So we would have 4 equals 4 times 0 minus 2. 4 times 0 is just 0. So we'd have 4 equals negative 2, and that is an incorrect statement, meaning that a is incorrect. That's a good method to use if you are stuck and you need to eliminate answer choices, but I feel that the fastest way to get to our correct answer is just by analyzing our table right here. If we take a look at our x values, we can see that the x values are increasing at a consistent rate, which indicates that we're looking at a linear function, a straight line that is going uh, infinitely in the positive direction. But if we look at our y values, here it starts in a linear fashion, 4 going down to 0, going down by 2 each time, which is a consistent, um, a consistent rate of change. However, once we jump back up to 4, it loses its linear quality, because here, I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you. Start at 4, we go down, and then we go back up to 4. So we've got this U shape, and this is not at all a linear function, a straight line. So we can take a look at both A and C, and seeing as they're both linear functions, they're both linear equations, we can eliminate both of those answer choices right away. B could possibly be correct, because it says it is not a linear function, and that's true. However, D might be more correct if the graph perfectly matches the table uh, shown to the left. The way to know once and for all if D is correct or not is to take any of these points in the table, or all of them if you want to be absolutely certain, and plugging them. The way to know for sure if D is the correct answer is by taking one of these points in the table, or maybe more than one if some points match but others don't, uh, and plotting them on this graph here to see if it lines up. So let's again, let's take that first point, 0, 4 over 0, up 4. We can already see that that point is not anywhere on the graph, um, so D is incorrect, making B our correct answer.